Just like in the first tutorial, here I'm also going to be using a fake database class DB, which you can download. The link is in the description of the video. So let's start by declaring the helper. I'm gonna type HTML or lookup. And uh, we're gonna name it me. Let's run the application. So here's our lookup. Let's open Firebug. Now if you click this button, we get our lookup. But there's nothing inside. And as you can see, we have an Ajax request to the mill lookup search. And we don't have yet this controller. So let's create it. So we need the controller named mill lookup controller with an action search which has two parameters search and page. This uh, method should return a JSON made from Ajax list result. And it can have a property named items, which is a collection of uh, key content. Okay. Name contains search. And uh, select new key content. And name. Let's build. And refresh here. Now if you open it, we have all the meals. And we can select. We can search. See. Mango. Oh. But when we select, we get another Ajax uh, request. And it's red. Because this method doesn't exist. Get item. So let's create it. The method uh, get item has a single parameter called v which is the current value of the lookup and it must return a json which is a k content the meal equals id equals v and here meal id meal name okay, let's build and the refresh so here it is now we can select and it goes here. That's it, our lookup works. But it doesn't have paging, so let's add. So I'm going to return a single page of results using skip and take. And I'm also going to set another property which is called more. And it tells the lookup whether to display the show more results button or not. And for this I'm gonna have to extract our result into a variable. For the list equals, and I use it here at list, and here we're gonna say list count is greater than page multiply page size. As you can see, seven is our page size. Okay. Let's build and uh, refresh here. Okay, so let's open, and here's our more results button. We click it, and the more results are loaded. Just like with the Ajax dropdown, you can use this uh, helper multiple times. You can uh, specify the controller. Okay. You can also specify parents, parameters, other things like full screen, which will uh, make it occupy the entire browser. And also things like white height is the white and the height of the pop-up. Also highlight change. This will make it uh, highlight a bit when uh, we select a new value. Let's show this. So as you can see, two, two lookups. And uh, this one is a full screen. It occupies the entire uh, browser. And when we select, it flashes a bit. Now I'm going to show you how to use the multi lookup, which is uh, quite similar to the lookup. So let's name it Mills. And now let's create a controller for it. The controller for the multi lookup is almost the same as the one for the lookup, except here get item is get items. Let's rename it Mills. And uh, V is an array. And also instead of a single kit content, we must return a collection of key content. So let's change this a bit. Like this. 
Also, the search action receives an additional parameter uh, selected, which is an array and represents the currently selected values. I'm going to initialize it in case it comes at null. I'll do like this selected. If it's null, give it an empty array. And let's use it and selected doesn't contains doesn't contains or id so this will ensure that our search results will not uh, contain the currently selected values and we are going to need another action which is called selected has as a parameter the currently selected value and must return a json of uh, ajax list result made from these values so let's do it uh, and in case selected will be null no, i'll initialize it selected equals empty array so we have selected get items search and uh, and we have to name it mills multi lookup in order for it to work by default without specifying the controller so it's mills multi lookup mills okay let's build and the refresh now you open it and we have the multi lookup and finally i'm going to show you the ajax list helper ajax list it's called just mills list and the reason i'm showing you this because it requires a controller that has a search action and uh, this action must return an ajax list result we are going to use the mill lookup controller for the ajax list and uh, since search is going to be null we are going to initialize it like if search is null make it uh, string empty okay so let's specify it here controller mill lookup let's add some line breaks save and build and let's refresh so here's our ajax list we can also add uh, a search text box like uh, just by adding the parent search text box and let's add it we can type text id equals search text tab. Oh, and uh, since the variable, name, the parameter name is search. Okay, so this will go here. We save and let's refresh here. So here's our text box. Let's try to search a bit. So everything works as expected. So this was it. Thanks very much for watching and goodbye.